Hello Doctor Who fans and welcome to another review or specifically my six year, six month, six week, six day uh, anniversary review. Yes, it's actually been that long since I released my very first video, literally just out of interest. Um, so I thought, well, I might as well do something associated with, as you guessed, seven. No, only joking, six. So, as you can see, this is the Six Doctor figure, the original Six Doctor figure that was released uh, back all the way in 2008. Um, so, you're probably wondering why you probably never had the uh, Six Doctor figure since then. Well, as you can see by the very colourful coat, um, there, well, rumour has it that it's to do with the, I suppose, the production costs. As you can see, it, the Six Doctor requires a lot of detail. And as you can see with quite a few of the B&M figures, they're not the most colourful or the most detailed, well, not necessarily lack of detail, but overly detailed. So certain figures have missed out, hence why the Con Baker figure is the only one we've not seen. So maybe we might get him in the blue outfit uh, from the audio drama, but... Unless production costs change, we might actually not see a Six Doctor figure um, from B&M. Uh, Character Options might do an exclusive one day, but as for B&M, it does seem highly unlikely. Um, so, we're going back to the very first release. This one came, as you can see on, on the uh, well left, we have a part of the K1 robot. So, as you know, this year we actually did get the fourth Doctor robot set. But this, back in 2008, it was part of the collect and build. And as you can see, this is the uh, shoulder and neck section. So, and it collected various parts, so there's eight figures. And obviously when you collect all the parts, you collect the robot. Which was a novel idea at the time. Collect and build figures seemed to be everywhere. Uh, there was three lots of Doctor Who collect and build at the time. Uh, the best performed figure, that was mainly Series 4 figures. Uh, we had the Gelf, which was a mixture of series, well, a cross-series collect and build. So it wasn't any series specific. You know, the Gelf appeared in series one. You could get the collect and build parts from uh, figures from various, uh, well, tenant era uh, series. Then you had the collect and build cyber controller, which was a four-part set. So you collect four Cybermen, which all came with a part, and then you completed the uh, cyber controller, which was also re-released in uh, a later B&M set. So for a close-up, as you can see, it's, uh, it's certainly my favourite. So when it comes to Doctor Who outfits, even though it's certainly the most garish, it's actually one of my personal uh, all-time favourites. I know it's outlandish and whatnot, but I do like how it's, it's certainly unique, it's noticeable. It, I suppose you could say it is nearly as noticeable as the 4th Doctor's long scarf or the 10th Doctor's trench coat. It's also quite iconic in its own right. And I do love the detail. As you can see, this was 2008. And to get all the, pretty much all the details nearly spot on, it's certainly one thing that I do like about it. I mean, you can't really fault this figure. For a figure that's 14 years old, it's certainly, personally, one of the best figures that Pro Character Options has ever released. And quite early on, because as this was the first classic uh, figures, well, part of the first classic figures to be made, it I suppose it was a make or break situation. If it failed, then it probably would never have done anymore. So due to the popularity of this figure and the others in this set, it paved way for more classic figures to come. As you can see, the packaging used to be, well, a lot bigger before. The packaging used to be, well, three, four times the size of what was actually needed. So. When it came to, well, in 2010, I'm sure a lot of you probably remember the Series 5 figures, it, the size of the figure was like, well, the packaging was cut down to about here. So over the years, packaging did get smaller and smaller. And you'll see with this year's uh, History of the Dalek sets, the packaging has got even smaller when it comes to the plastic. So yeah, I suppose it's more eco-friendly, but I do prefer that than... Sometimes it was a bit too bulky with this kind of packaging. So I think Series 5 uh, packaging pretty much got it spot on. You know, it did make it so uh, squashed in, but it made it like a good size to sort of display with. 
But overall, the Six Doctor figure is one of my favourites for another reason as well, that we used to also get accessories um, in the original figures. So the Six Doctor figure comes with a Sonic Lance. This was seen quite a few times in the Six Doctor era. But overall, if you don't have this figure, I'll certainly recommend getting it. As you can see here up close, we do have the uh, an outline of, of a cat because pretty much nearly every other episode, uh, Colin Baker used to have a different cat badge. You can actually get replicas uh, even now. So it's all those added details for a figure that was 14 years old. To get the details spot on, especially amongst other figures that were released at the time. It's a shame we've never had a re-release like this for a while now since uh well forbidden planet the last uh company to do a six doctor figure was toys r us which obviously now in the uk is non-existent but they are making a bit of a comeback uh so since uh, well b and have been around we've not had a comeback at all we've had figure sets from the era we had the uh, two doctor set uh if you probably remember with uh perry and the sontarans so the six doctor figures have been around it's well era just because of the production cost because of the outfit it's made him non-profitable which is a shame but i hope one day soon that character options will be able to release it as an exclusive because they rather than being uh the the bargain shot that bnm is they do have well the chance to up market uh their figure sets but overall it's certainly one of my favorite figures i as you can see, I've got one in and out of packaging because I liked it so much. Um, it was fun to try and collect the collecting builds at the time, even though sometimes it was difficult. Uh, especially the six dots of figure. So uh, most of the time you always get an assortment in boxes. Uh, with the six dots of figure, you only actually got one figure per box. So it was actually a bit more harder to get at the time. So if a lot of you probably struggled to get the Colin Baker figure, this was why. It was, there was less of them produced overall in uh, the assortment boxes. But overall, I don't think you can really fault this figure much. Whether you like the outfit or not, you, can, you can't argue against that. It's a great figure. And I hope you enjoyed my uh, views on this figure. And as you can see, it's for the six years for the, the six. Overall, six Doctor stories are, well, entertaining to watch. I think they sort of uh, get better the more you sort of watch them. Um, but if you had this figure, let me know. And well, if you're still trying to collect the collect and build big uh, K1 robot, then please let me know that as well. Uh, it's certainly been quite a while since that's been released. So good luck trying to collect it if you're still trying to collect it now. And hopefully my next video will be of the new B&M releases, which should come out either this month or in October 2022. Um, and enjoy your day.